live oh my gosh this is nerve-wracking this is not like regular videos you know where you just get to um what's it called <sighs> edit <laughs> oh i'm supposed to share it i'm gonna share on twitter really quick And then after I share it on Twitter, hi, Alyssa. Oh my gosh, Mallory. Hi, how are you guys? I can't believe you're here. Oh my gosh, vegan chat. I love you more. Jessica, hi. Hello, hi, everybody. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. The plant eaters. Oh my gosh, Des, how are you? How are you since the hurricane? How are all the kiddos? I need to know everything. I'm so excited to see you. <laughs> Alyssa, you're at work, girl. <laughs> Hi from Toronto. Oh my gosh. Um, Canadian Thanksgiving is Monday. Happy Thanksgiving. What do you guys have on Thanksgiving? Oh my gosh, I sound like such a stupid American. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have like the same things we have, but I'm sure there's some like uniquely Canadian side dishes that I need to know about. Hi from Georgia. Hi from Turkey. Love from Spain. Did you guys know I'm part Spanish? Yes, my great grandmother's from Spain. Hi from Dallas. Dallas, I will be there in two weeks at Texas Veggie Fair. So if you're in Dallas, make sure you come and say hi so I can squeeze you. Hi from California. Hey, 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 hey. We're all good. So glad you're live. Okay, so Yes, pink hair. Oh, so I have like three new pink wigs. I can show you which ones they are because a lot of you guys have been asking. Hi from France. Hi from Boston. Vegan mama with two babies here. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of you. I'm so excited. Um, So I can show you everything I got. I know last week I was hi from Houston. I so love you, too. Um, I know that you guys know I'm the most scattered brain person ever, like that there's ever been. So um, I'm gonna be like here, there, here, there, talking about things. Hi from Tokyo, Eden. That's me. Um, so last week I was talking about wanting a work bag, and I wasn't able to find one like at any store and <laughs> browse though. Um, so I decided to buy like a vegan luxury handbag, which is a couple hundred dollars hairs, but um, we're not gonna talk about the bank account right now. Um, so I bought a luxury one because I could have gone out and got like Steve Madden. Um, please say your name. Heba, is that your name? Is that your name? Um, Instead of buying like Steve Madden or something that was like accidentally vegan, I wanted to like support a vegan company since I have the means to do so. So I'll show you guys that. Some other stuff that I got. I was just going to um, open it all by myself. So I figured I would go live and open it with you guys. Lip color is Milani Devotion. It's the liquid lipstick, not the like kind that you slather on it's the you know stupid painted around and is my lip line even i hope so <laughs> hi hi everybody um i see a lot of people filtering in so i'll start unboxing stuff in a little bit if you have any questions that you want me to answer let me know and i'll go ahead and start answering questions before we start opening things so I haven't decided if I want to be your best friend or girlfriend. <laughs> you give me so much life. You can be both. <laughs> um, LOL, cutting the Sephora budget. Yes, the Sephora budget. It, it is cutting into the Sephora budget. Even though I'm rouge now and I get free shipping, so it makes me want to shop at Sephora even more. Um, uh, guys, I'm just glad that I'm blessed enough to buy the things that I want. Eden. Much love from the UK. Oh, the rap that I wrote to a children's song. So I actually ended up selling that to my friend Quentin. And if he releases it or when he releases it, I'll share his mixtape. It's actually um, a kind of dirty rap to the Teletubbies theme song. <laughs> Much love from Oman. Hi, hi, hi. So, um, I love watching your videos. Love from Norway. You are so beautiful, Emery. I never see you on live streams, but I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go or if you guys will even like them. So I thought I'd come and say hi. And I like that I can see 
your actual stuff. Oh, can I scroll back? Really random, but what is your favorite hiking spot in Austin? Oh, I really love Mount Bunnell, Mount, <laughs> Mount Bunnell, um, because it's so scenic. It has like the, the prettiest views, that's for sure. Sorry, my finger's all up in there, but that's how I have to scroll through comments. Um, what's your favorite vegan food? Oh man, um, I love, um, I feel like this is like the, if you had to eat one thing forever scenario. So I feel like tacos are like my go-to. I love tacos with like corn tortillas and just like um, stuff loaded in them. I look like a doll, thanks. <laughs> broccoli, oh my gosh, yes. What is it, Sherry Ann? Yes, broccoli is my favorite. I. I have a proud broccoli fetish and it's amazing. I love you. Do a Fenty review. I may. Pickles are vegan and she loves pickles. You are so right, guys. I love pickles. So obsessed with pickles. Pickles and broccoli and coffee. I could live off of even but that sounds like a huge like stomach ache in the making. Okay. So I'm going to start opening some stuff now that some of you guys are here. I'll keep answering questions. So the first thing is my Love Goodly box. You guys know about that? <laughs> Des is packing me up. Kid Play Tofu. I do love tofu. You guys know me way too well. <laughs> and, yeah, I only have a dimple on one side. You guys are right. Yeah, I don't know. This one's like smushed or something but i have one on this side the same though with like my shoulder dimples i only really have a deep shoulder dimple on this side the one on this side's kind of flat oh actually i think the shoulder dimples on that side you love my makeup so much my makeup looks bomb oh have you tried the pumpkin spice creamer yes it will be in tomorrow well it's not tomorrow's video i'm filming it tomorrow um, who is it? Califia Farms has pumpkin spice creamer. They also have a peppermint mocha and I picked up the pumpkin spice. I couldn't find the peppermint mocha and it will be in this week's what I ate in a day. Um, it was the answer to all of my basic dreams. It's so delicious. Yes, it is so, so good. The only thing I hate about it is that you kind of have to use a lot of it. Like the regular creamer I use, I use exactly two tablespoons for, um, say hello and say my name. Christina, hi, hello. Um, so I hate that you have to use more of it to get your um, coffee light. You found Silk's pumpkin spice creamer too. What, Silk has one too? Oh my goodness, yes, I know Starbucks pumpkin spice isn't vegan, it's a shame, but I'm glad that we have options. Kelly, hi, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that all of you guys are here. I hope that I'm not like screaming because I. I can't hear what I sound like, so sorry. <laughs> um, so Love Goodly, it's like a makeup subscription box, but you get skincare and stuff like that too. Andrea, um, oh yeah, <laughs> I remember you tweeting me that you were watching me on the big screen. Marlene, I'm glad you're here because if there are any trolls, will you kick them out please, thank you. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not screaming. Hi, Miss Brown Sugar. I love Miss Brown Sugar. So guys, back in the day, when I had like 500 subscribers, probably, Miss Brown Sugar had like, um, I don't know how many she has now, probably a ton. She had like three or 4,000 subscribers and she shouted me out as like an up and coming channel and sent people over and it was so freaking sweet and I love you. And she's in Houston. Um, I know you're doing well-ish after the hurricane and I'm glad that you guys are all doing good down there. So, love Ghibli. I did cut the tape. Hi from San Diego. Oh, I love Southern California so much. Can I come visit you? <laughs> Please do a makeup routine. You always look so flawless. Oh, I totally will do a makeup routine. So, uh, love Ghibli. It is like a makeup subscription. I've said that, right? So, oh, take care of your boobies, guys. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm wearing pink nails. My aunt, my grandma's twin. My Aunt Lily had breast cancer, um, not once, but twice. Um, and it's really important to make sure that you are examining yourself. So this is a little take action notice to show you how to do at home exams and make sure that you're going to the doctor regularly and uh, making sure that you guys are all good. Sorry to get all serious on you, but Love Goodly did it, not me. <laughs> so hi, Janet. Oh, Gat House, Gat House Fitness in the house, y'all. If you want to, um, see like yoga stuff um, and she's lost a ton of weight. So I know 
know a lot of you guys are super interested in weight loss. Um, this is not a new wig. This is an old wig. Um, um, if you guys are interested in weight loss and yoga and um, stuff like that, locks. She's just did her one year lock Anna versity anniversary <laughs> anniversary. Um, head over to her channel, Jessica. Um, have I ever eaten something that was not vegan on accident? Yes, I have. Um, at a restaurant, they said that there was no dairy in the sauce, and there was, um, probably like two years ago. But the thing is, being vegan isn't about being perfect. It's about doing the very best that you can to the best of your ability. And sometimes accidents will happen. Um, and all you can do is move forward and try to do better. And I had a killer stomach ache. Let me tell you that. So the first thing is um, this aromatherapy roller. And it's by Mr. B's. It's calming sleep. Oh, we need this, guys. You guys know that I never sleep. So a sleeping aromatherapy little ball roller is probably good. But I hope it doesn't smell like lavender. Does anyone else hate lavender? Leave the number one if you hate lavender <laughs> as much as I do. Tracy Davis Lewis, hi, how are you? Ugh, fucking smells like lavender. <laughs> um, yes, if you accidentally eat something that is not vegan, you are not a failure. It has nothing to do with the accident, but only with your intentions after the accident. So make sure that you just move forward, that you check labels a little bit more carefully in the future. You're not a failure if you accidentally eat something that's non-vegan. Just, you know, learn from it and try to do better. But yes, that smells like lavender, but I have a friend that loves lavender, so I will gift her with this. Like, I hate lavender, and I hate that every sleepy time thing has chamomile in it. Like, I don't like chamomile tea. Tamika, you love lavender? Come on now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tenaciously Bling, you too, you love lavender? Amore Jones, hi beautiful, I'm so happy that you can make it. Hi Jessica, I'm so happy that you made it too. Um, but yeah, don't feel bad about your mistakes. I have tried sleeping teas. I love the mushroom one that I get from Thrive. I can't think of the name of it. And I love the yogi tea, the caramel soothing, but I hate the chamomile one. Ew, gross. Okay. The next thing in this box is mindful nourishing blueberry facial mask, vegan, gluten-free and paraben free. I love facial mask. It's like the best way to, um, luxuriate. And you too, Janet, what's with you people and your lavender? <laughs> so blueberry facial mask. I can't remember how much this box is. Uh, uh, hi, Alina. And this is from Bella Pierre. I know Bella Pierre. This is a mineral blush in autumn glow, which looks like a beautiful highlight color. I love, love, love peachy highlights. So I'm excited about that. Lavender is okay. Not your fave. Not my fave either. My hair is slaying the game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Jacqueline Jones. Exactly. Ew, chamomile. Like, it's so weird though, because I love hibiscus, but I don't like chamomile. So I'm just like, only certain kinds of flowers I like. Your mom used to put lavender on your pillow to help you go to sleep. Um, hold on, let me redo my schedule so I can be tuned in. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are so funny. What else is in here? Oh, a makeup brush. This is from 100% Pure. Do any of you guys use 100% Pure cosmetics? I have not used them because they don't have like dark shades. Really? Not really? Um, but I didn't realize that they had tools. This is incredibly soft. <laughs> Sometimes lavender smells like B.O. to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I swear, Desiree's my soul sister. We're just like sisters separated at birth and race and stuff. <laughs> but I'm excited for this brush. I love the light pink candle and it's super soft. So, and what else is in here? Ooh. Oh, huh. So this is by Moon Donnie, and it's a breath mist. Hmm. I don't see very many vegan mints and gums, you know? Um, I love vegan mist. Um, so that's nice that you can spray this in your mouth if you have stinky breath, and that's always good. Nice thing to have in your purse. So overall, a pretty good box, a highlight, um, a stinky roller ball with lavender in it, a nice mask, um, breath spray, and a brush. 
So yeah, awesome. I'm excited about that. <clears throat> so what are you guys up to this Saturday? It's just, am I the only person that doesn't do anything on the weekends? Like I hate going out. I like dancing, but I like to go to dance classes. Hi, Jamie. Um, but I don't really like to, if it's not like something outdoorsy, like going on a hike, going to a dance class, I don't like going out like at nighttime. Like I'm not a partier cleaning the house. Stephanie, Stephanie, if you, if you want to come over and clean my house, um, I will cook you endless snacks because I'm so bad um, at cleaning. Mercedes purposely did nothing today. Hey, do you, what? Uh, sorry guys, I'm scrolling to read a comment. <laughs> I should go live at least two times a month. I'm <laughs> watching Eden videos. Hike down a hill in Croatia, oh my gosh. And then you made brownies. Girl. You got my hair. Just got back from brunch. See, I feel like I could be a brunch girl, but all of my friends always want to drink champagne and I'm not a champagner. I'm not a drinker at all. <laughs> Miss Brown Sugar doesn't do much on the weekend besides sin, spend money. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a big drinker, so that's why I don't go to um, brunch that much because all of my friends drink a lot and I'm just not about that life. I'm about to make stuff acorn squash and pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, I love pumpkin pie. I'm in college and don't have the option to do nothing. Just finish your workout. What kind of workout did you do? <laughs> Some of you guys are supposed to be working and you're not working. Hi, Linda. I messed up my swell bottle. Hi from the Czech Republic. Sitting writing a paper for your religion class. Oh my gosh, religion class was one of my favorite classes and different studies of the Bible and theology. Hi from Glasgow. You're feeding the baby. My hair is gorgeous. Oh, my lip color today is Milani Devotion, the liquid matte lipsticks. Almost, I think all of them are vegan. <laughs> I can't do an impromptu live and then expect you guys to go about working. Oh, so I got more stuff. I guess I can show you all of it. Vegan Family Journey is here. <laughs> are you guys going to um, Dallas Veggie Fair? Look at the plant eaters in the comments with all of their fans in there. <laughs> Studying. Oh my gosh, I'm addicted to hip peas too. They're so good. I need to um, get some more from Thrive. So um, do you guys know who Charlotte Tilbury is? She's like, hella expensive makeup, kind of like hourglass level, um, because I'm a snob. Um, and <laughs> um, it's, is it next weekend? I think it's the 21st. Is that next weekend or the weekend after? Um, so they make like super pretending to be engaged in my friend's combo while actually tuning in. Hi, Truth Soldier. <laughs> um, that's in two weeks. So yeah, it's two weeks from now. Yes, Charlotte Tilbury is cruelty free, confirmed by Logical Harmony. Um, and a lot of the stuff is vegan, a ton of it. So go to Logical um, Harmony and go to the vegan list for Charlotte Tilbury. There's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of things that are vegan. And I ordered a mascara because they have a vegan mascara. The reason I went to their website was just because I don't have a pencil sharpener and I needed to sharpen my lip pencils. Weekend after, yeah, we were thinking about it. Kelly's. <laughs> I know. It's it's far, too. And I don't know what it's going to be like. It's my first week. I mean, my first year going to Dallas. So if you can make it, come say hi. But if not... Um, what's your favorite vegan waterproof mascara? I do not have 
a favorite being a mascara. So that's why I'm like on the search buying super expensive, then trying to buy drugstore brands to find my favorite freaking mascara because I haven't found one still. Politically, poetically natural. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so this is from Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this packaging though. Just dead. Um, super cute. You can tell it's high end. Like, really? Ugh. Everyone that's not following the plant eaters, you should be. 100%. You should be. Her and her family are magical. And Des is like the most amazing person ever. So, let's see. Oh my gosh, how gorge. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> so these are um, samples. I don't know if these, two of these things are, these two things are both vegan. I checked before I ordered them. It's the primer and the foundation, the magic foundation and the primer. And then this is not vegan. So I will give it to my roommate. It's a luxury sample of their other mascara. So this is the Full Fat Lashes, the Glossy um, is vegan. So I ordered this one to try it out. Um, Des, you're just amazing. So I have to tell everyone about you. <laughs> so I got that and um, that's just a perfume sample. And then I got the um, sharpener because Tashina said it was amazing. She said that this sharpener was like the best pencil sharpener ever. And I trust Logical Harmony with my life. So I can't get it out of here. Um, so it's just a little sharpener and, you know, has the both sides and the empty ink compartment. But she said that it's like super sharp and it gets your tips. <laughs> um, I'm going to try not to say tip live anymore. Um, <laughs> it gets the tips super <laughs> sharp. <laughs> I'm a child. I can't help it. I'm a child. Okay. So I got this card from my friend Stacy. I'm going to open this not on camera because it's probably sappy and it'll make me like, um, what is my fetish? Broccoli. <laughs> bye, bye, bye for everyone that has to go. Just the tip, Marlene. Yes. <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this card from Stacy. It has a watermelon on it. <laughs> tips, tips. Oh my gosh, you guys are so crazy. Oh my goodness, she's insane. She bought me so many gift cards, guys. Starbucks, Ulta, Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. And she wrote me a super long note, but I'm not going to read it on here because it's probably private. She's one of the best friends I have, Stacey. She's one of my only vegan friends it, IRL like that I've met I have lots of vegan friends online but that I've met and she's just one of the most considerate amazing people that I know so um I can't read this because I don't want to cry so yeah <laughs> you're not vegan but you love the energy and something about Chicago it goes by really fast guys <laughs> um Simply CC. Hey, E, I hope to see you at Veggie Fair. Yes, I will be at Veggie Fair in Dallas. If you guys see me and don't say hi, I'll be really mad. So don't you dare. Hi from Colleen, Texas. My grandparents live in Colleen. They're retired military. So they live there. I lived there when I first moved to Texas before I moved to the magical land of Austin. I'm going really soon for Thanksgiving. Yay. I made a vegan dessert for tonight. Oh my gosh, I hope your vegan dessert is amazing. Um, I got just this laptop case. I buy a lot of things, guys. Um, hi from Cassie in Florida. Is the hurricane going to hit there? The one in Louisiana, no. And it's right now, it's a category one. It may advance to a category two, but it's the tail end of um, hurricane season. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and I don't think Texas will get, um, any of it because I'm banking, um, because mama has a job. <laughs> um, a lot of people ask if I have a PO box and no, I don't. And, um, everything that I buy, I buy, I mean, on occasion companies send me things, but, um, I'm blessed enough to, um, have a job. 
I think I just upgraded to a category two. Yeah, I am one of the girls. Um, I hope we don't get the hurricane either. Yes. Um, one of the girls that I follow on Instagram, her name is Nola Tree. She's an amazing body positive um, yoga instructor. She's in New Orleans right now and she's been kind of live updating. And she said that everything's looking okay in most of Louisiana, that some people have been asked to evacuate, but um, for the most part, that it's going to be similar to the hurricanes that she experienced because she lived in New Orleans for a really long time. Um, laptop case because my my spoiled little sister stole my old laptop case. It's just pink and it has some fuzzy stuff on the inside. It's from Amazon and it came with a little pouch too. And I got that so that I can put it into my bag that I just ordered without it getting all tossed around. So this is from Angela Roy. Um, you guys know who Angela Roy is. She's like a luxury vegan handbag person. Hi from South Africa. You're such a, not a fan, like a friend. Um, it's probably more like it. You've been really interested in what my job is. I work in sales and marketing. I'm in the executive office. If Jesus isn't real, then explain this burrito. Like that's how I debunk people all the time. I'm like, if Jesus isn't real, explain this highlight. Like, <laughs> So I got this bag from Angela Roy and it's for work. So it's big. So don't judge me on that. Um, tell Kayla not to steal. <sighs> that little girl stole my heart the moment she was born and it's just continued since then. Stealing everything that I own. Stealing my lipsticks, stealing my highlights, stealing everything. She's been stealing my mascara since she was four years old. So Angela Roy. Super, super pretty. Thank you for being such an inspiration. You know what? I don't think I'm that inspirational. I just um, try to do what I feel prompted to do by God. That's all I really do. Um, I try to find the positive and things that are kind of negative that have happened to me. And I heard something in church <clears throat> this week, and it said, um, good Christians are not people who never think anything negative. They're like good Christians do think negative thoughts. But the most important part is how they overcome it and that they overcome it biblically. Biblically. So that's what I do. Ooh. So yeah, I think I actually wrote it down a lot better in my notes. Like, yeah, um, but you guys get to witness my brain farts live. <laughs> new follower you're obsessed hi welcome to the family um you don't go out of your way to be inspirational i didn't get to read that oh you're sweet you guys are too sweet hello from michigan i was born in michigan at hutzel hospital by the way um bye have a good thanksgiving canadian thanksgiving hi love watching my channel um, you appreciate me always speaking my mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a dust bag. It's a nice, beautiful crimson dust bag. And we'll just let the box drop. Um, hi from Michigan. I was born in Michigan. Woo Detroit. Um, and here she is. It's a pretty big bag. I'm pretty obsessed. Hello from Jordan. Oh, wow. <laughs> So let me uh, get the plastic off of it. Sorry if the rustling's a lot for you guys. Ooh, pretty pretty. So um, this bag is vegan leather. I got it so that I could take my laptop and like my mason jars with my lunches and all of that good stuff to work. Um, and then the handles, all of the handles are 24 karat gold plated. Uh, <laughs> and then it is stuffed and then it does have kind of a sports lining on the inside. I'll pull this out. So this is what the inside looks like. Your two pockets and then it has a back zipper pocket here too. And um, you're not vegan, but you watch my channel. Ooh, 24K, fancy, huh? I know, right? Um, and then it does also have a strap. So if you want to wear it as a shoulder bag, which was really important to me, um, it does have a shoulder strap. 
It has a little strap to hold your keys so that you don't have to fish them out and then carrying handles. And it has a pretty large size zipper here, which I feel like this could probably fit like iPad mini in this pocket. I love having an outside pocket. And then it just says Angela Roy right there. So I'm obsessed. It's really, um, hi Tara. Um, it's really sturdy, stands up on its own really well. It does have feet at the bottom so that it doesn't get ruined. And I'm super excited about it. I'm excited that it will fit my laptop and all of my goodies that I need um, because I work kind of far from home and I can't get back home if I need my laptop charger. So I need to be able to put like everything that I need for the day in it, but it's super pretty. I'm obsessed. You bought a milk frother machine for your coffee. <laughs> Reminds me, remind you of my creamer um, obsession. Thank you, Marlene. You're on it like so fast getting people out of here. I'm not vegan whatsoever, but I bought a few things because of me. Yeah, and I don't, um, ideally I would hope everyone would go vegan, but I know that that's not realistic. But if watching my videos help you find a few like, meatless Monday ideas or, you know, helps you realize that maybe you don't need meat three times a day. Maybe you're just gonna have um, lunch, I mean, meat for dinner or something. You know, you're just gonna have it a couple of times um, a week. That's amazing to me. And finding new options to eat that are helpful and help you feel good or that's the most important thing. So yay, love it. I'll take the plastic off the handles and stuff later, but it's really nice. I'm obsessed worth every $265. <laughs> um, but it, I love that it has a dust bag. So when I'm not using it, I can store it, make sure that it stays nice. Um, Marlene has been around forever. She is an admin on my channel. So um, her and I have three, two other people that go through comments, not regularly, um, just on occasion. So if there's crazy trolls, they kind of can get rid of all that crazy. My nail color, um, this is Camellia by LVX. LVX is $18 a bottle, but it's been on for a week. Um, and as you can see, barely any chips. So yes. Hi from Michelle in the Netherlands. Exactly. Um, I try not to focus on the negative comments ever, really. Um, hi, Bonnie. Um, Bonnie's my cousin. Kira is my goddaughter, and Shell is my cousin as well. Hi, guys. Um, hi, cousins. Hi, Shell. Um, you guys need to come over. You haven't been to my new house yet, so you guys should come over, or we should do lunch or something. Um, <clears throat> I try not to focus on negative comments unless it's in kind of, um, like a funny kind of way, like reading mean comments, uh, because I know that there's just too much positivity. So what's the point of focusing on the negative? Hello, hello to everybody just tuning in. We did a Love Goodly unboxing, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury unboxing and Angela Roy unboxing. If you missed any of it, um, Priceless Passion, hi. I love you too. Hi, Paula. Um, so if you missed any of it, it will, like after I get off, it'll save and it'll be on my channel. <laughs> hello from Troy in New York. No, hello from Troy, New York. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Regina. Um, are there any places you would love to travel to? Yes, I want to go to Spain. Um, I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Haiti um, on a mission trip. So those are some places I want to go. Hi, Emily. You're from Austin, too. I'm surprised you haven't ran into me yet. I'm always all over this place. I got a couple more things. They weren't a part of this video, though. Stop worrying about how much you spend on stuff. You work so hard. I know, but people... Um, oh, did I get new wigs? Yes, I'll show you those in a second too. Um, people get really concerned about what other people do with their wallets. And I, I mean, I get it. Um, I'm trying not to shade anyone here. Um, 
but I know how it can be frustrating um, when YouTubers like buy all this stuff and um, like it's funded by their subscribers, but I work really hard and so do other YouTubers. If they work hard and they want to spend their money on things, I know how the perception can be, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody's life is different. That pink on pink though. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I got a new mic. Um, I have another mic, but I, for the podcast, if I, you didn't know, I have a podcast. I haven't posted in a couple of months because I want to move it off of SoundCloud. I don't like SoundCloud as a platform at all, but I'm having a lot of trouble finding, um, a platform that I really, really love. So I think I'm just going to go back to posting on SoundCloud and just that be it but i got another yeti because i want to have a couple of guests on this is the blue edition so i got that and then i did get another tripod because the one that i'm filming on is super duper old um so i got a new tripod as well this one's by manfrotto it's a tabletop um tripod but it also ex like extends to i think three and a half feet or something um which is this is how i shoot my instagram pictures is with a tripod so I needed a better one but that's pretty much everything that I got oh these are just sitting on my desk I got these new shoes too but that's not part of this video either um so the pink wigs everyone is asking about the pink wigs the first one is the misty wig which I was wearing last week this is the misty deluxe premium wig from free trust equal all of these are synthetic and they're super cheap um, Des, you're the only one I could see I'm listening to you on a podcast. We need to do a podcast together. When I see you, I'm bringing both of my mics so that we can podcast together. So this one is Misty. I get the color rose pink. What made me want to be on YouTube? I'll talk about that in a second. Um, then I also got this one, which is Cameron in the color rose pink. All of them are free trust equal. Um, and this one has a middle part. And then I got... This one, which I'm wearing to da Dallas Veggie Fair, is called Spring, and it's in the color rose pink. Um, and they're all free trust equal. So if you just put in, like, free trust equal spring wig, it'll come up. And this one's super curly. So, yeah. Those are the three wigs that I bought. Um, and this one, I have a review on my channel somewhere. I can't think of what it's called. Hi, what brand of lipstick do you use? This today is... Malani. Hey, uh, let me see. I've cut out dairy completely and reduced my consumption on meat to three days a week. I feel incredible. Thank you for being such a wonderful light in the world. Thank you for being a light in the world. You've been around my channel since my old channel. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, Michaela wants a wig. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Teenagers. Oh, is she a junior this year? Um, so what made me want to do YouTube, I've been on Hi From The Bay Area. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I've been on YouTube since my first video was published in 2009, which was a cover of Chantel t-shirt. So I did music. Can I do a video on how to install a wig? No, because I'm trash at it. Like I'm literally trash at wearing wigs. Half the time I put on a freaking hat because I can't get my hairline right. <laughs> Yes, from North Cali, Marlene. Um, so I did YouTube for music first, and it was back in the early days. Copyright was even harder than it is now, so I started getting a lot of copyright strikes. So, and that's also around the time when I got signed to my label, so I couldn't do as much music on my own. Um, so after that, I just started doing beauty things for hooded eyes. Um, and then I had a vlog channel and now I have this channel, which is kind of a combination of all kinds of randomness. Do more YouTube lives. I will. If you guys like them, I'm happy to do YouTube lives because they're super easy. Hi from Australia. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. You live in the most beautiful place ever. I think Kelly, if Jason wasn't where well, where did we get eaten from? Truly the life. Oh, Kelly. Don't do that. I am so thankful and I love you and you are an angel on this earth and I don't know how people as kind as you exist, but 
guys, I have a super chat enabled on my channel. I don't really know how to turn it off for lives, but I appreciate you guys donating, but don't feel obligated to do that. You don't have to do that. Mama has a job. She's gainfully employed. Um, YouTube helps as well. I have amazing sponsors sponsors like Thrive. And the reason that I do sponsorships from places like Vanity Planet and Thrive and um, who else have I? Oh, Audible, places that I love. I do that because I don't want you guys to have to feel obligated to give to me. But Kelly, thank you so, so much. You know what I'm going to do with that? I am going to buy that little sweet angel, Nicole, her the best treat she could ever imagine. <laughs> Yes, I know that you're not obligated. You're so sweet. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you know that I really appreciate it. And I will do the Lord's work, which is take care of Nicole with it. <laughs> Nicole. Oh, my gosh. She's so sweet. Jesus Christ is God's son. Our Lord and Savior. Amen. Um, you just wanted to say, hey, hi, Em. Um, you never knew about Thrive until me. Um, that's awesome. I really do love Thrive Market. Obviously, this isn't sponsored by them, but I love them and I love them as a company. Everyone that I work with there is amazing and they really are trying to do good things. So I hope you guys know that when I work with people, it's like, it's legit and I don't have to work with them because like I said, I do well um, off of YouTube. So I don't have to sponsor things that I don't believe in because my my rent's not depending on it so know that when i am promoting something it's because i actually care about the company and i think that um you guys will gain something from it do you plan on traveling anytime soon yes i am traveling Ugh, a lot um coming up which i only say that be, like the face because i love traveling but it's hard to juggle everything. Um, Thrive Memberships. If you want a Thrive Membership, look in the down bar of my videos. You get, get a 30-day free trial. Then if you hate it, you can cancel it. Um, so don't buy it straight out. Make sure you do the trial first. I'm all for free freaking trials. <laughs> daughter says that what color looks great on your skin tone. Oh my gosh, your daughter is so sweet. How's she doing? How's the, you know, I know you guys are working through some skin issues, so I hope all of that um is going well and she's just so beautiful i can't stand it plans for halloween am i dressing up um i do plan to dress up as what mm, not sure just yet slutty something no i'm kidding i'm actually this is the first year that we're in a house so i'm really excited to pass out candy i'm gonna buy all vegan candy and um dress up and pass out candy here so it'll be fun and i think halloween's on like a tuesday so um, I'm going to have to work the next day, so I don't plan on, like, going to any um, parties or anything. Um, <laughs> I'm traveling in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. Um, mostly traveling in the U.S. this year. Next year, I plan to go outside of the U.S., um, hopefully, God willing. Oh, my gosh. Comments are too fast. I can't read them all. Um, living plantfully. Hello. You're amazing, too. Oh, the mattress company I work with is Bear Mattress. Um, more gents can see me as a sexy mermaid. Oh my gosh, I can too. Uh -huh. Oh, Shell says she'll bring Kira. Kira's my goddaughter and she's literally the most beautiful little child you've ever seen in your entire life. Do I have a video on skincare? If so, you really need one. I think that I do. <laughs> if I don't, I will make one. Her skin is doing much better using the Alba mini pill. When she breaks out, it really helps. The Alba mini pill is like, I usually have it on my desk. I guess I don't have it. Oh yeah, I do. Hold on. So this is the Alba mini peel. It's amazing. If any of you guys have bad skin issues, this stuff helps so much in a drugstore and it's amazing. It's like the acid dries it out, but also kind of resurfaces your skin. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's been 44 minutes. <sighs> is it a mask? Yes, it is a mask. So you put it on for about five, 10 minutes and you can tell it's working when you put it on. It kind of burns and I'm like, burning means it's working. <laughs> and um, then you wipe it off and 
the next day, it's like amazing. Marlene, you are on it, on it, girl. That's why you my main bitch. <laughs> yes, love her. You hope I do more lives. I would love to do more lives. I think that they are so much fun. And I like getting to talk to you guys in real um, time. You've got the whole family watching. You're obsessed. Oh, my gosh. I hope um, they've heard the word slutty before. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious. Any new pumpkin obsessions? Um, other than the Califia Farms creamer, no. I saw that Dea has out a pumpkin cheesecake, but I'm still on the fence if I am on the Dea train or not. Any advice for um, up and coming vegan YouTubers? Yes, there's a lot of, there are a lot of vegan YouTubers, so make sure you find what makes you unique. Like for the plant eaters, it's very unique that she has, you know, um, three children and a husband and um, she's lost some weight and that she makes meals for a family and cooking for kids can be tricky. So she found um, the thread, let's say, <laughs> um, like what I mean by the thread is like a thread on a garment is where you can change a garment or where you can add to a garment. You have to find where you can add your uniqueness within the community. So that that's Desiree's uniqueness. Um, for me, it's that uh, when I started making videos, there weren't any other vegans that were fat making videos that weren't focused on weight loss. When there's, there's nothing wrong with being focused on weight loss, but I was just, this is what I eat as a vegan on the weekends, you know? Um, so you have to find your niche, the thing that makes you different from everyone else in the vegan community because it is a saturated community. But all of us have something special and something unique to offer. And there's always someone that wants to hear what you have to say or needs to hear what you have to say. So don't let the like the competition deter you. Just find your special place within the community. I missed a few questions. Do you ever see yourself doing YouTube as a full-time career? Um, <laughs> maybe. Um, maybe. I don't know what God has planned for me, so I just kind of follow his path that he has laid out, even though lately we've been at war because he's um, not giving me answers loud enough, or rather I'm not listening closely enough. Um, so I don't know. I would do YouTube, but I don't think it would ever be my full-time career. Um, music's always been a big thing. I love dancing. I love stuff like that. So I think that there would be some kind of side hustles attached or some kind of program attached. Um, I like performing some kind of live show or something, but I don't think it would be YouTube on its own. <laughs> you came to catch up on my videos and I'm doing a live yeah i'm here <laughs> um thanks girl that was amazing yeah everyone has something special to offer and i can't wait to see what you do make sure you tag me or tweet me or something when you start doing it so that i can come by and say hi 48 minutes y'all when do i call it like in an hour i don't know <laughs> hey girl hey girl so happy to have popped on and see that this is live. Yes. If you guys like lives, um, we can um, think of a day and time that works for all of us. And we can do them like every other week or something like that. I don't think I could do it every week. What time is it in Texas? It is 3.52. Um, yes, Apple Watch. Yes, you can replay this later. So after I get off of here, I hit finish and then it saves and then I'm going to hold up my bag and make a thumbnail and then everyone will be um, able to watch it again later. When are you moving to Los Angeles? Um, that's a great question. It kind of depends um, where my job takes me. Um, I feel like if I move to Los Angeles, more than likely it'll be a transfer from work. So we'll see hopefully within the next year or two um i love that you are a proud christian i'm religious i'm not religious at all um but you really expect 
respect that I am. Thank you. Um, I am a proud Christian, but I try to make sure that anytime that I talk about Christianity, I talk about it um, so that everyone can gain something for it. So that it's not all about God, but it's about good as well, um, because God is good. So if you love the good, um, you can benefit from the word of God, even if you're not religious. Um, who's your favorite panda dad? <laughs> hi, daddy. Um, daddy's in the comments, guys. Say hi to him. Holy crap. Are you in a relationship? Uh, no. <laughs> um, what are your, I date, but I'm not in a relationship. What are some of your music inspirations? Um, I really, really, really love worship music. Um, I really love country music. I love pop music. I love all kinds of music. So um, that's hard to say. When I'm working out, I really, 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 really love rap music and like trap house music. Um, hi, daddy. Everyone's saying hi to daddy. Um, <laughs> late to the party, but it's still lit. You're never too late. Um, you're my sister in my mind. We can be sisters. Um, in real life, if that's down, if you're down with that, I'm down with it. Um, what else? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Sorry, it's hard um, to read everything. Yeah, everybody's saying hi to daddy. Yes, daddy's girl, 100%. <laughs> He's not allowed to say I'm his favorite daughter, but. Plant Eve, what inspired me to start YouTube? Um, I started YouTube doing covers of music. Um, you should do a vegan mukbang. I feel like my vlogs are kind of mukbangs, um, but more casual and more chatty. <laughs> you guys have lovingly coined them um, what did you guys say? Muck vlogs? <laughs> Muck vlogs? Um, yeah. Now that you have a house, can Nicole come live with you? No. Um, Daddy is in the comments and he won't let her come live with me. <laughs> also, my... Um, what's up, YouTube family? I'm going to leave now. Much love. Bye, Daddy. Um... I came to the house yesterday and you weren't there. Everybody else was there. Where's the love? But I'll see you soon. Um, no, because my dog, my roommate's dog is dog aggressive. So I would never put Nicole in a situation where she wasn't safe. Should you try the So Delicious cheese? Um, yes, you should. Any cover videos still around? No, I actually, I had two copyright strikes on my old channel. So I left that channel and made a different one. And I'm two channels out from that one. So this is like my fourth YouTube channel. <laughs> I actually might have some of the old videos and like on like One True Media, which was this super old video editing system back in the early 2000s. So. <laughs> Um, you can't call him dad because you guys are the same age. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, my father. My family is just super funny. I have a video coming next week where um, Kayla, my little sister, my 16-year-old sister, she's going to style me. So I'll be doing three or four outfits that Kayla picks out for me. And I am I can't say that I'm excited to see how a 16-year-old is going to dress me. <laughs> but it's gonna happen, so that'll be fun. <laughs> what is my favorite quality about myself? Um, probably that I am faithful even when it's hard to be faithful. Um, okay, thanks for inspiring people to be vegan, even if you don't have the typical fit vegan look. Yeah, um, veganism is totally for everybody. It can be for anybody, any body size, any ethnicity, everyone. It Everyone just has a different take on it and a different way that they approach it and different um, dietary 
like I guess wants even like you can eat how you want to eat on a vegan diet. There's an option for everyone. Um, is Panera Bread vegan? No, not the restaurant itself isn't vegan, but they do have a good amount of vegan options. Um, what's the YouTuber Banana? She does she does videos called Veganized, where she gets vegan things from restaurant chains, and she shows you the vegan options. Somebody tell me what her name is. Supreme Banana, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Supreme Banana. So um, watch her. Um, she does Veganized, and I'm pretty sure she has a Panera one. So if you want to see the... <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you guys. You guys are my saving grace. I love that you guys get to witness my brain farts like <laughs> live. But yes, go there, watch that. She does, she can tell you the vegan options pretty much anywhere. Um, your take is refreshing and not guilt-based. Thank you. Just passed your one year vegan mark. Awesome, I just passed my four year um, last month. So I'm really excited. Good vibes from Rhode Island. Uh, recently moving to plant based and fell in love with Khalifa Better Half Almond Coconut Creamer. I'm so glad that you found a creamer option that you love. There's so many freaking options. Okay, Eden, I got to get going. Chores calling. Maybe um, we can grab Juice Land. Yes, next time you're in town, let me know. Um, I'd love to say Hi, I feel like swimming in a bowl of pumpkin spice latte. Same. Those are my feelings as well. Yeah. Okay, we're almost at an hour. So I'll probably say bye pretty soon, guys. You love it? If everyone would check out your channel, everybody go say hi to living plantfully. <laughs> you guys are my spirit animals. Eight months vegan. You love Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. So do I. I love her so, so much. Um, I want to do a collab with her. I do have collabs coming, vegan YouTuber collabs coming up. So I hope you guys are excited about that. I'm excited. Um, so, and um, I'm going to be meeting um, Melanie from Anarchist Kitchen soon as well. So hopefully we'll do, get to do something as well. Good night, everybody. Um, Oh, collabs. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some collabs. I'm excited about that. Um, some dance videos coming. My friend Trey is going to do some dance videos with me. Thought of trying to be vegan, but it terrifies me. After 26 years of eating, I just tell myself I can't do it. You can do anything that you want in life. Remember that. It doesn't have to come down to diet. It can come from um, career wants or needs, things that you want and need in life, relationship wants and needs. You can do anything because you are powerful and capable. I love the dance videos. I literally live for them. Yes, if you, um, good night, Kelly. I love you so, so much. And tweet me more. You don't tweet me enough. <laughs> um, Anarchist Kitchen cracks me up. She cracks me up too. She's amazing. Her mind is so creative. Um, I can't even take it. I know I was talking about something, but I forgot. I'm sorry. Um, you need to hear that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, and I hope you know that it's true. Good night, Miss Jones. I love you so, so much. Thank you for all of your support of the channel. I see you all the time, even if I can't always respond. So I love you. Um, you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now. Wondering if you believe in God and Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Um, I don't believe in anything more than I believe in that, actually. Um, all the food that I cook looks so yummy. Thank you, because I just throw things together 99% of the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm super glad that you um, enjoy that. Yes, you love, oh, the Bodak Yellow Dance video. I'm actually redoing that video um, with one of my friends, we're going to do the heels portion. So it'll go up on Instagram and heels. So yes, if you like dance and fitness videos, I do post those on Instagram. Um, I would love to post them on YouTube, but, um, it's just hard to like film a class. So I'd have to do separate things for YouTube. But if you do want to see dance stuff, it's on Instagram. Um, please don't stop. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can...
Oh my gosh, Melanie, you're so sweet. I won't stop making YouTube videos as long as you guys continue to watch. I've enjoyed, even though I missed the first 45 minutes. You can replay this as soon as I finish. You're awesome. God bless. God bless you. Um, your videos seem to be shorter. Are you looking to reduce them? No, they're they're like 45 minutes. I think that's as long as they have been, as long as they will be. I try not to make them longer than 45 minutes because honestly, that means I have to sit through and edit them. And I'm, I'm it's a lot. <laughs> What's up with podcasts? I miss them. I know, I know. I got a new mic. I'm going to just continue them on SoundCloud, even though I don't really love SoundCloud as a platform. Um, it's expensive and you get absolutely nothing out of what you pay for um, as a creator. <laughs> um, I'll continue to do it because I love you guys, but I just wish that there was a platform for podcasts where it was more interactive and um, I don't know, but I'm I'm gonna start posting on there. Yes, I promise. You're an amazing woman. You inspired I inspired you to be vegan. Awesome. Um I feel that way too. I feel like I love my subscribers more than everybody else. <laughs> I know other creators love you guys too, but I love you the most. <laughs> All right. It's been an hour, guys. Um, I can't stand myself for much longer, so. Why don't I put my podcast on YouTube like Jenna and Julian do? I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Actually, um, that's a good idea. I'll have to toss that around to myself and to my people, which is just me, myself, and I, um, and think about that. Um, yeah. Tears. Love you. Um, we still need to figure out a day to do lives. Yes. I'll put it out on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram and see what days work for you guys um best because i know a lot of you guys work during the week any plans for the rest of the weekend yes i have a dance class tonight <laughs> your daughter said oh my god i love her hair i have a dance class tonight and then um next the next day tomorrow sunday <laughs> um i film what i ate in a days on sunday so i'll be filming tomorrow and that's about all yeah Enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time. Bye, Regina. Thank you guys all. Oh my gosh, I'm so burpy. <laughs> Just from water. Um, I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. This is probably my new favorite thing of, of all time. And I will see you guys very soon. I love you, love you, love you. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe if you're anywhere in the Louisiana area. I love you too, Desiree. I love you, Tracy. I love all of you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, I will see you guys on Tuesday with a new What I Eat in a Day vlog. And I will have fun at dance class. And I love you guys more than anything. Um, should I do my outro? Yes? Yes? Okay. Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. <laughs> I love you guys endlessly, and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.